What's up guys, Dane here, and today we're actually going to be taking a look at the recent updates on PK Honor, which includes a couple new voting rewards, a rework of a couple items in the voting shop, and a few extra NPCs that do a couple different things. So, uh, if you don't know already how to vote, because I know, you know I get this PM at least once, maybe twice a day when I actually log in, colon colon vote super simple uh, you know you have to stay logged in to receive your voting points and then a uh, web browser will actually open up on rune locus and you can vote for pk honor now i know a couple of you guys probably had some trouble voting um, i don't know what to say to be honest it generally works for me i'm going to vote right now um, are you in the market for a new or a late model used vehicle no i'm not okay and my code is cloud9 and then you just finish up the voting we're gonna click to vote for PK Honor and it should vote you did not answer the security question properly what <laughs> uh, tiger lily I guess I already voted okay yeah so the voting is still a little weird but you have received 32 voting points you can spend them on the voting shop so as a premium you get 32 voting points as a donator I don't exactly remember how many you get but you get a good amount and as a regular player you get an even lesser amount so definitely getting premium helps quite a bit you can vote every 12 hours so that means as a premium member you get a total of 64 voting points per day which is pretty good and let's take a look at the voting shop so as you guys know same old same old you can get cash for one voting point uh, one mil per one uh, one voting point per one PK honor point and one donator credit per two voting points now the advanced mystery box it was already here for 1000 voting points however Mike actually reworked it so every time you open it there is a 100% chance that you'll actually get a one bill ticket and another item this other item can include things like um, druidic um, what was it elite caskets and other various items it also could include really crappy items you know like serodomen plate legs you know things like that uh, he said that he was actually Mike said that he was actually going to release a full list he hasn't done that yet but I hope that he does actually release it so we know what those crappy items actually are and what the least amount of GP you can actually make off an advanced mystery box actually is now let's take a look at the actual items that he added into the voting shop beginning with the brown afro so a brown afro you know it looks like an afro it's brown it costs 500 voting points plus one powdered wig which means that wigs might actually increase in price uh, currently I think they're like 700 mil before the brown afro was actually introduced to the game so I'm guessing it'll probably go up to around one bill which would be pretty interesting indeed Next up, we have the rainbow afro. It looks like the brown afro, except it's in a rainbow color. Uh, this costs 250 voting points plus one brown afro. Next up, we have the black party hat. Uh, this costs 1,500 voting points, which is quite a lot, plus one party hat set. What this is actually going to do, what people think this is actually going to do, I should say, is raise up the party hat set prices however it takes a long time to actually get 1500 voting points it takes around i think 30 days or so plus there's so many party hat sets literally hundreds and hundreds of party hat sets that really i don't think it's going to change up the prices that much which is too bad because party hats are you know cheap as dirt pretty much now the rainbow party hat costs 750 voting points plus one black party hat and one rainbow afro which is actually quite a bit because you know you have to have 250 voting points for that with the brown afro which is a powdered wig as well plus a um, party hat set and 1500 voting points it's actually you know when you actually look at all the prices it's so many voting points for a rainbow party hat so if you see somebody around that isn't in honor that has a rainbow party hat really that's a big deal that means that they've been voting for quite a long time indeed moving right along we come to the colored dark bow sets coming in blue green yellow and white these work exactly the same as regular dark bow so really there's no reason to actually buy them however some people might like them for you know 
simply to make their bank look better to make their cosmetic outfit look better something like that personally i will never be buying these because they cost 200 voting points which is a substantial amount and they don't really do anything now what personally interests me the most is the xx parrot now this is actually a pet it costs 500 voting points and two rings of wealth what this does is it acts just like the same as a ring of wealth except it actually gives you a bonus of 1% increased rarity instead of the Ring of Wealth. So instead of the Ring of Wealth's 14% increased rarity, the XX Parrot is instead of 15% increased rarity. So uh, what's cool about this is you can wear other rings without having to wear your Ring of Wealth. You can wear your Berserker Ring or your Sears Ring, whatever you want to do. And also the XX Parrot will actually wander around with you. It will act as a pet or you can have it in your inventory if you don't want it acting as a pet and it'll still work. Now the XX Parrot does not stack with the Ring of Wealth, however it does stack with the Whip of Fortune. And that's about it for the voting shop. Personally, I think these updates are totally fine. They're not game changing. They're pretty cool, you know, especially to show, you know, how much you voted. Personally, I don't think I'll start. I might start voting again. I haven't really voted for about a year now, uh, just because it never really was worth it to vote on PK Honor, um, for me at least. But uh, yeah. If you're wondering what you should be saving up for when it comes to voting, I would say probably the advanced mystery box still because that's a really good way of making some decent GP. Instead of actually opening it, I would probably suggest selling it uh, for that extra GP, selling them for around two bill, I'd say, uh, or going for the XX Parrot, you know, obviously because they both actually have uses. Now the brown afro, the rainbow afro, the black party hat, the rainbow party hat, and all the dark bows are all tradable, so you can make a profit off those, I suppose. And the XX parrot is untradable, so you can't trade the parrot. So moving right along, let's get into the item exchange clerk. So what this pretty much does is it adds box sets to the game, which is pretty cool. So what you can do is you get your box set of items, uh, which, you know, Darox, you know, that's my favorite, my favorite Barrow's items, and you can make them into an actual box set. Now, I believe he added more than just Barrow's. You know, you can do this with Dragon, you can do this with Steel Armor, Bronze Armor, whatever you want. Uh, but, you know, most people I'm guessing are probably going to be using it on Barrow's. So that's pretty awesome. One thing I'd actually like to see changed, however, is currently in the grand exchange if you're trying to sell these box sets they only go for around one gp which means that you literally can't change the price at all because that would be going over 10 times the price uh, of the item so i hope that he uh, actually does change the box set prices at least for the um you know for the Aerox sets, you know, the Barrow sets, you know, the ones that people really are going to be buying the most of because it's kind of annoying at the moment as you can't buy uh, these box sets in bulk. So that's something I would like to see changed. Next up for the NPCs, he added a potion decanter. If you don't know what these are, uh, it pretty much means that you can take all your potions, you know, your uh, three doses, your two doses, and your one doses, and you can make them all into four doses, and he does it automatically for you. So no longer do you have to do it yourself or get other people to pay you for it. All you do is you go over to the potion decanter, and you say, please decant all my potions. And that's it. It's really simple, really easy to do, and, uh, you know, it's pretty good. And I personally did that for a lot of my potions, and I got, like, thousands of extra potions out of it just from decanting all these. So that's about it for the updates. Um, he talked about adding Bounty Hunter. You can see right here a little bit of a teaser, I suppose, where it says Bounty Hunter. It says your target, the time left you have to kill the, your target, and the wildy level uh, that your target is currently in, I believe. Now, uh, this is pretty cool, I guess, you know, much like old school wilderness, it's probably not going to work out. However, um, you know, they're trying to rejuvenate the wilderness a lot, which is really good. However, they're going about it the wrong way. They're adding things like old school wilderness, which obviously died out after two weeks, and they're adding things like bounty hunter. Now, of course, bounty hunter might be a little bit different because there's not as many restrictions. However, uh, even so, it might still be dead content, much like Castle Wars and whatnot. So uh, hopefully it isn't, though, of course. Um, but 
you know, whatever. What I actually would like to see is them to add that bounty hunter spell on, there's actually one on old school RS at the moment, where it actually teleports you to like, it teleports you close to your target. So that would be pretty interesting, I suppose. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Then they're also working on Glacors as well. Mike made a little teaser image of the Steadfast Glaven and um, what's the other one? Oh, I forgot it. Ragefire. The Steadfast Glaven and Ragefire boots. And he's just figuring out how to add the Glacors and where to add them and all that kind of good stuff. Personally, I hope that the Glacors are premium only. Uh, just because, you know, these boots should be fairly expensive. They should be something that you can grind for and uh, should be pretty exciting. Hopefully there isn't a quest that goes along with it. I hope it's just, you know, just be premium. Or maybe what would actually be pretty interesting if they made it so that... Uh, it was actually a 99 construction requirement and you actually had to build a Glacor cave portal that takes 99 construction. That way, boom, only people that are premium and only people that have 99 construction can actually uh, get to the Glacors, which would mean that there wouldn't be as many people there. But that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can hit that like button. Uh, I've been you know, thinking about doing a couple different series. I've been thinking about doing a couple different money making methods. Um, really, there aren't that many money making methods on PK Honor that are, you know, unknown. I mean, there's the basic ones and whatnot, but when it comes to skilling, there really isn't that many money making methods. So it's kind of difficult to actually make these videos. But uh, I'll be working on money making guides and all that kind of good stuff, and you might even see a little bit of a lot of content. But that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, Hit that like button. That's about it. Peace.